What are you doing? Lunch break. Lunch break? You don't get breaks around here. Do you think you get a title that you suddenly get breaks? Yeah, have me a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, peanut butter? Peanut butter. Yeah. What kind of jelly you got on it? There's no jelly. Oh, Just... well, we can fix that right now. Man, that's a good pound butter sandwich. Welcome back to Dark Corner Gunworks. Today, we're going to be doing a ballistic gel video on a few 9mm rounds. Now, before we get started, I want to give a little bit of a history behind the 9mm round. The 9x19 Parabellum was actually developed in 1901 by the German Empire. That's pre-World War I, pre-World War II, where Germany actually had an empire. Now, today, a lot of people use a 9mm round. You've got police forces. The U.S. military has been using it since the 80s. Uh, probably some of you people at home carry a 9mm pistol with you on a daily basis. It's been used in movies, video games. We all know the 9x19. Everybody and their mama knows the 9x19. So let's just get on into what we're going to be shooting today. First thing we're going to shoot is just regular Fiocchi full metal jacket, 115 grain. We're running 1200 feet per second. I've kind of got a feeling that's just going to go straight through the ballistic steel, but I guess we'll see. The second round we're going to be shooting, she's a little bit hotter. We're talking 1400 feet per second. This is Buffalo Boar. And it is a 115 grain round also. Strictly business. Now that's a hot little round. I'm interested to see what that one does. The third and final round we're going to be shooting is this 50 grain 2,000 feet per second civil defense round. Yes, 50 grain. You hold one of these things in your hand, it feels light as a feather. Uh, this one I think is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get down to the range and throw some rounds into some ballistics jelly. When we're shooting nine millimeter rounds of the Sig Sauer P320 Compact. First round we're going to shoot is 115 grain full metal jacket. All right, next one we're shooting, Buffalo Boar, 115 grain. And now for the Civil Defense, 50 grain. Let's cut this ballistics gel open and see what those rounds did to it. Now as you can see right here, that full metal jacket went straight through. This is a uh, 14 inch piece of jelly. Move this out of the way. Go over to this uh, buffalo bore. This plus P plus. See right here, that's a core of the round sitting there and is at about 11 inches into it. You can also see little pieces of fragmentation around here. Actually, let's, let's dig that guy out of there a little bit. Oh yeah, pretty little mushroom here. Let's put that off to the side. <clears throat> now we get over to the civil defense round and you can see that thing it, it didn't have much penetration but that cavity it opened up is enormous and it so right at six and a half inches now we did have a little piece 
come through out the back side. That was a little piece of fragmentation, but you can also see some pieces down in here of it. And the cup came off the back of the round and flew off onto the ground over there. We still got it. Yeah, I think that, uh, I think that about does it. Well, there you have it, folks. The 9mm Ballistics Gel. I wasn't quite sure what to expect from it, but was pleasantly surprised at what we got. That, uh, that Buffalo Boar, we still got this right here. That thing mushroomed out, stayed right inside the Ballistics Gel. Uh, the, uh, that Full Metal Jacket Fioki went straight through. We didn't find the projectile. And the Civil Defense, we didn't find much of it, except for this little cup on the back of the round. Everything else just pretty much disintegrated as soon as it hit the ballistics gel. Well, thank you for watching Dark Corner Gunworks. Be sure to check us out on YouTube and Full 30. Like, share, and subscribe our videos. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and at darkcornergunworks.com. And check out our Covering Fire podcast. Thank you. Ew. Ew, it's gross. There's stuff on it. Brief history. Brief history. <clears throat> Not too much. I want to eat that sandwich. <clears throat> Looks so good. Oh, what'd you get? <clears throat> Just because I feel so bad about interrupting your lunch break, I brought you peanut butter. Oh. You really did. I was surprised when I came by and saw the lid. I thought you took it off of something else and put it on there. No, no that's, an that's actually engine enamel. <laughs> Jesus. It's never coming off. We need to keep that forever now.